Watching the world burn, watching the world burn. May 20, 25, 24, excuse me. Let's get into it. So uh, I'm going to tell you, you've got to watch the first video. I, I just let it speak for itself. I was watching SD Bullion because you know that I'm an incredible uh, silver and gold investor. Uh, I cord, you know, I hold a lot of my assets outside of my house and in other places. And uh, I hope that, you know, you have bought at least a silver coin or two. And I, uh, but then they put up this insane video about China. And uh, it looks like now we're going to go to war. We're already at war with Russia. So we're at war with one superpower. That this is what the Democrats want. I, the Democrats are insane people. These people are not normal. And I'm just going to tell you, and, 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 and I, I've, I've put out, and I'll, put, I'll, I'll talk about my posts about Democrats. These people are insane. So, so now we're going to go to war with China because it looks like China is going to uh, go to war with Taiwan. Uh, and you know what? All, the, all of our ships... Uh, that we have in the China Sea are going to get destroyed. Uh, so what the hell? Uh, and imagine all those young people that, you know, that are on those ships. Uh, that, that most of them are probably gay or woke, uh, maybe uh, uh, transgender. <laughs> That's what our, our U.S. military has become. Uh, but, you know, I mean, they're all going to die. And, uh, and, of course, our military leadership, I mean, I don't even know how they became so compromised. Uh, obviously, you know, they don't want to secure our southern border or do anything for the United States. But anyway, so I'm just telling you that, uh, so, so let's watch that video right now. For trade settlements with mostly emerging markets. You can see the explosive trend since 2011 to date. Last month, China saw record withdrawals of fiat Chinese yuan from their banking sector. Surely the Chinese citizens are understandably getting restless. I wonder why. This week, China escalated air and sea military war games surrounding the Taiwanese island. We're going to turn to India now for more Eastern insights on the ongoings from this week. 2024年的岛链内结合打击 did you see that? This video was released by CCTV, the official mouthpiece of the Chinese government. It's an animated video. It shows the bombing of Taiwan by the Chinese military. It shows missiles hitting targets like Taipei. And this video has been released 
with an ominous message. We are able to achieve firepower precision strikes on combat targets anywhere and at any time. As long as the Party Central Committee, the Central Military Commission, and President Xi give an order, we will be ready to fight at any time. That was a Chinese soldier outlining China's attack capabilities. He explained how the Chinese military can hit Taiwan with great accuracy. All they need is an order from Xi Jinping. And this message is for Taiwan and their new leader, their, their new president, Lai ching te China calls him a separatist. He took oath of office on Monday. Two days later, China launched these drills. In his inauguration speech, Lai had told China to stop threatening Taiwan. And in response, China chose to double down. They began what they're calling punishment drills. Today was the, the second day of this exercise. In the last 24 hours, China has sent at least 49 aircraft, 19 military vessels and seven Coast Guard vessels. This is according to Taiwan. Reports say the PLA, the Chinese army, tested its ability to quote-unquote seize power in Taiwan. In fact, China is almost confirming it. Look at the statement that the Chinese military issued today. It says they tested the PLA's capability to quote-unquote occupy key areas. Occupy key areas in Taiwan. Simply put, China practiced how to invade Taiwan and take control by force. Taiwan is China's Taiwan, and it is not the turn of the United States to say anything about it. The root cause of the tense situation in the Taiwan Strait lies in the attempts of the Democratic Progressive Party authorities to use the United States to seek independence. China's tone is aggressive and the world has gotten used to it, yet this time it's more worrying because of the Chinese military's maneuvers around Taiwan. Let me show you a map. This is Taiwan. Look at how Chinese forces have surrounded the islands. They're conducting drills in every corner. Beijing has picked five target areas for this exercise, plus they've targeted at least four small islands. Now these are close to Chinese shores, but these islands belong to Taiwan. The PLA has been conducting drills near them, and then they sent this message to Taipei. Since taking office, the leader of the Taiwan region has seriously challenged the One China principle, nakedly peddled the two-nation theory, and attempted to use force to seek independence and rely on foreign countries to seek independence. This is purely playing with fire, and those who play with fire will surely get themselves burnt. So this was a comprehensive drill. They were not just meant to scare off Taiwan, they were supposed to demonstrate China's capability for a military takeover of Taiwan. And this is in line with Xi Jinping's orders. On multiple occasions, he has told his forces to be war ready. He says reunification with Taiwan is inevitable and he doesn't rule out the use of force to achieve this goal. He has even locked horns with the United States over Taiwan. In April, Xi spoke with Joe Biden on the phone. And Xi Jinping told the American president that Taiwan is a red line and the U.S. should not cross that red line. He wants America to stop sending military aid to Taiwan. So these drills were supposed to be a message to the U.S. too. Again, a demonstration of China's military strength, which brings me back to the video we started with. It gives an insight into the minds of the Chinese military leaders, the military planners. It shows how they would go about invading Taiwan. This video identifies four potential targets. Taipei, Huali, Taitung, and Kao Siung. The video further shows Chinese jets being loaded with live ammunition, bombers conducting mock strikes, and mock missile launches. So the focus is on aerial attacks. And this will be a big part of Chinese military strategy against Taiwan, the aerial attacks. And their scope won't be limited to Taiwanese cities. Ships on the high seas are also vulnerable. In the past two days, Chinese planes have rehearsed this too. How to bomb foreign vessels in the Bashi Channel. This region falls between Taiwan and the Philippines. And the Chinese Coast Guard will have a role to play here. They too, the Coast Guard, were also part of the drills. They conducted mock inspections of civilian boats. How does Taiwan see all of this? They've called China's drills military intimidation. Any use of threats of force to undermine regional peace across the Taiwan Strait will not help improve cross-strait relations.
It will not only have an impact on regional security and peace stability, but will also have a negative impact on global peace and economic development. Therefore, we are not happy to see China's military intimidation. So tensions are high around the Taiwan Strait. China's military activities pose a serious threat, not just for the regional players, but for everyone who relies on Taiwan's economy or sends ships through this region, which is pretty much the whole world, they should be worried about China's aggression. Well, it's no surprise that it's become up, up, and away for local Chinese gold prices in the fiat yuan. On the silver side of this equation, one is left to wonder if all this recent record premiums paid out for Western silver 1,000 ounce bullion bars flowing from London and comics warehouses are indeed the push before global trade gets cut off further. After all, if you're running a military without silver for inputs into your advanced military hardware, bombs, and vehicles, well, you'll be up the creek with no paddle. The Brimian So, there you go. Wasn't that amazing? And uh, I was like, holy shit. I mean, and by the way, if you want to buy silver or gold, I mean, SD Bullion's a good site to go to. Uh, you might want to consider it. That's that's where I've been buying mine. I, I used to buy from Munex. Uh, of course, uh, Miles Franklin, uh, they, they seem pretty honest, but their, their premiums are always a bit higher than SD Bullion. That's, that's just my opinion. Uh, and then let's get into the next video. Oh, my God. I mean, let, let, let's watch that one. <laughs> So there you go. So that was the next video. And uh, and I just want to kind of get into all my bookmarks. I I definitely didn't want to make a video tonight. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to tell you. I got, I'm, I'm digging outside my backyard. And I hope you do this, this type of stuff. I mean, I'm just trying to grow vegetables, man. And that's what I think that you need to do. But, but, you know, but at the same time, I have to report on all this crazy stuff that's going on in the world. Watching the world burn. Watching the world burn. I mean, that's kind of where we are, right? All right. So uh, let's get into um, Black in the Empire. The ICJ found plausible evidence Israel is committing genocide. Well, no freaking shit. <laughs> They've killed... 20, 25,000 women and children. I mean, and the Christians in the United States are all for it. I mean, I, I, I'm just like shocked. I mean, I, I listen to these people on the radio like uh, I, uh, Sean Hannity or uh, Todd, Todd Starnes or, you know, any, any of the right-wing hosts. They're like, yeah, kill the fucking Palestinians. Exterminate them. Exterminate the Palestinians. Well, I guess that's that's what everybody's about in the Christian churches here in the United States. That's why I I got a tough time finding a church that I can believe in. But we'll see. Uh, the ICC has charged Netanyahu with war crimes. Well, well, I guess when you exterminate, you know, fifty thousand people and starve them to death, I, well, you know, maybe you maybe that that the ICC is as a good point. And uh and by the way, Germany said that uh, if he goes to uh Germany they're gonna arrest him. So Netanyahu's kinda like uh he's gonna have to stay in Israel for a while. Uh every human rights organization calls Israel an apartheid state. Well, yeah, yeah, I I agree with that. Uh, well, and this is this is crazy. One hundred and forty-three countries now support a Palestinian state. I and by the way, I, it was Spain. Um, God dang it! You know, it was Spain. Uh, th 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 there was three Spain. Spain. Anyway, they came out and said that they they want uh, uh, a Palestinian state. The U.S. and Israel says they're all anti-Semites. All right, so let's keep going. And this is this is uh, me. Uh, I'm replying to somebody. The Catholic Church is compromised and no longer serves Jesus Christ if they feel that illegal immigration into the United States is what God wants. By the way, the Pope came out and said that. 
more or less, I mean, you know, if you read his words, I mean, he says that, you know, oh, we need to accept everybody, including Palestinians, which, by the way, as much as I'm talking about the extermination of Palestinians, I don't want them coming to the United States. I don't want any illegal immigrants coming to the United States. I want legal immigrants coming to the United States that are vetted and go through our process and they have to swear allegiance to the Constitution of the United States, just like I did in the military. That's all that I'm saying. So, I'm, I, you know, I, but anyway, uh, but the Pope, the Pope, the Pope of the Catholic Church says that they, they need to come to the United States. You know, screw the Pope. This insanity indicates their church is evil. And that's why I'm saying, if you're Catholic, you need to freaking get a new Pope. That's all I'm saying. All right, so Zelensky, my, ma my mandates have not yet expired. Of course, we know Zelensky's, his, his term as president has expired. And Ukraine is not holding elections. Can you imagine that? I mean, imagine if Biden says, you know what, we're not going to hold an election here in the United States. Well, I would hope that the freaking, you know, Second Amendment is going to come in and that a lot of people are going to rise up and say, hell no, we're going to have a freaking election here in the United States. But in Ukraine, they've gone along with it. I don't even understand that. So my five years as president of the state have not yet ended due to the state of war. Well, if Biden wants a state of war and declares nuclear war on Russia, I, I would hope that the American people are going to say, hell no, we're going to have a freaking election. But anyway, so let's keep going. Uh, they are being extended uh, according to Vladimir Zelensky. Uh, D.C. Dranko, this is disgusting. Really Rudy Giuliani was the greatest political leader in our country after 9-11 has now been charged. I mean, can you imagine? He's been charged with nine felonies for crimes of fight. I mean, it's the, called the Democrat Mafia. The Democrat Mafia. And I, I've put out a few tweets talking about the Democrat Mafia. And by the way, there's a book that I'm reading now about the Democrat Mafia. But, you know, let's, let's watch another video. Starting the negotiating process, I've mentioned this many times and I would like to emphasize this once again here in Minsk. Russia has never rejected these talks. We started these talks um, some time ago in Belarus and then Ukraine asked us uh, to move to Istanbul these talks. We almost reached an agreement. We are very close. We had a draft agreement that was ready and the head of the negotiating groups representing Ukraine signed these agreements. So overall Ukraine was fine with these agreements and so was Russia. Of course we could work even more with these agreements but if you have a signature from Ukraine this meant that Ukraine was fine with this deal, but you know the reasons when former British Prime Minister arrived in Ukraine. Ukraine just rejected these agreements and refused to abide by them. Moreover, they said that they wanted to end these talks. We were not the ones who withdrew from these talks. They were the ones who withdrew and they were the ones who banned these talks and prevented themselves from taking part in these talks. There you go. So that's another video. So what a disgrace. These Marxists deserve everything coming their way. Uh, so anyway, let's, let's keep going. France abolished mail-in voting in, in 1970. Well, this is just talking about how, how our elections are rigged. Yeah, they France abolished mail in voting in 1975. Who the fuck wants now mail in voting? I mean, it should be paper ballots with ID required. I mean, it's only the freaking Marxist Democrats that want the shit, and you know that's because they want to cheat on the election. If you're, are you freaking stupid? Are you just out of your mind? So let's just keep going. Ah, oh, Red Lobster files for. 
Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection. <laughs> oh my God. I mean, I, I tell you what, I, I, I've always loved Red Lobster and uh, I'm sorry to see them going out of business. Uh, but, you know, like I said, I didn't even want to make a video today. But it was it was those videos that I saw. Uh, here, the Russians are determined. Russian state television, and this is crazy, has officially announced that if NATO troops move into Ukraine, they will use nuclear weapons. Now, I if you, I hope you watch Scott Ritter just a little bit. I mean, he, he's, you know, he, he was, I tell you what, I mean, I, I've watched him. He's going on about how nuclear war is possible. Do you understand that we're all going to die? <laughs> I mean, we're all going to die. I mean, but anyway, let's just keep reading this. Um, they will use nuclear weapons and bomb their headquarters. Then, Sarmat, I can't even pronounce this one, having Tagara, jars will fly and all nuclear missiles. This news is not just any media or lion matters. This was announced by Dmitry Kislyfov, who was appointed directly by the President Putin to lead the state media and its branches, so it's news straight from the source. Why such a statement and at this time? Perhaps this has something to do with the fact that part of the French army arrived in Odessa along with the U.S. Army's 101st Division from Romania, and the French also appeared in Slavonsk, and Russians eliminated them within 48 hours. Yeah, I'll tell you what, a lot of, <laughs> a lot of fucking NATO troops are dying. I, you know, I wonder what the families are thinking when these troops come back in coffins, you know, and, uh, and they think, well, what, were my, what was my son doing in Ukraine? Well, you guess what? Uh, Biden sent them there. <laughs> I mean, the, the Democrats, the fucking Marxist Democrats sent them there. You know, and so I, anyway, I, I, I could go on reading this. I mean, it was, it's, it's crazy. Uh, and so uh, Canadian Prepper. By the way, uh, Canadian Prepper, go to that uh, website. Uh, they've got some really good food. Uh, steaks and everything else that you might want to buy. Uh, he had a video up today, and I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, but anyway, according to Jennifer Nang, Russia and China and Russia are working on building a nuclear submarine base at the mouth of Terman. Yeah, I mean, and and that's this kind of old news. But I mean, I guess if you're not following the news, uh, this is this is a new uh, nuclear submarine base. And uh, it's it, it, it's it's near the Sea of Japan, and uh, it, it it it's it's going to be significant. Uh, let's see. Victoria Nuland fears that aggressive Russia will attack NATO training bases in Ukraine if they are created there, thereby unleashing World War Three. I tell you what, who the fuck listens to Victoria Nuland? Have you seen her? She's. The, I tell you what, all these evil people are incredibly ugly. Remember Emperor, Emperor Palatine? I mean, I have to give Star Wars credit because he was an ugly son of a bitch. And I'm going to tell you, it seems like all the evil people in the world, uh, and even Charles Schwab. I mean, when, when you think about the movie, uh, uh, what was it? Uh, good God. But anyway, he's got that bald head and he just looks like an evil son of a gun. Uh, that's it for this video, but I'm going to tell you. So we'll finish off with some Russian hardware. Peace out. Stay free. <laughs>
Sooner or later, God's gonna cut you down. Sooner or later, God's gonna cut you down.